Hello again, everyone. It's Mark here. I'm the founder of the Arts and Culture Network, and this is the fun bit for me where I get to meet um, our members. So I'm joined today by Tommy. Tommy, thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, it's my pleasure. I'm happy to be here. This is going to be fun. I haven't given you much warning about what to expect, which makes it even, no. more, fun. <laughs> it, even more fun for me. What, more coffee um, right now. Yeah, go for the coffee. Um, and we have been alerted that construction engineers might interrupt us, but we'll we'll hope not. So anyway, Tommy, for the benefit of those who haven't met you before, would you mind, would you like to introduce yourself, where you are, the work you do, the kind of contacts that you might like to make through the network? Um, so, just briefly. So currently I work as the senior director of performing arts at a community college called Elgin, Community College, which is in the northwest suburbs of Chicago. Um, so I run the performing arts complex here, and I book all of the professional performances in a season of shows, but my staff and I also support all of the academic programs, as well as community renters, and then we have five resident ensembles, including an orchestra, uh, a chorus, a, a children's theater, and a, a Mexican folkloric ballet company. So we have a fairly robust schedule through the year. Wow, that sounds great. And where can we find more information about your, your schedule? So if you go to our website, which is eccartscenter.org, O-R-G, and it's center E-R, okay, <laughs> because yeah. we're in the United States. <laughs> yes. So eccartscenter.org. Perfect. Well, we'll make sure that the profile has got lots of links in it. So that's great. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Uh, two countries separated by the same language, as they say. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, I actually spell things with the British spelling a lot, and I get dinged by our marketing department. So there we yeah, go. There we go. Right, let's jump in, shall we? So sure. um, I'm going to ask you some questions, and we're going to tell the story of your next year. Okay. Um, right. It starts with your favorite building, please. My favorite building? Oh, I would say right now, because I've been in Chicago for the last 16 years, is the uh, the Art Institute of Chicago, that building. Great. OK. Now, I'd like you to imagine it's June. It's sunny. It's 6 p.m. And you're sitting outside a cafe looking at the Arts Institute of Chicago. OK. OK. On your right is a book that you've been reading. What is it? It's probably going to be a, a diversionary fantasy fiction book. So probably something by David Eddings, who's my favorite fantasy author. Um, probably rereading of uh, the Belgariad. I think we touched on this last time that we have a shared passion for all things Lord of the Rings. Yeah, uh, yeah. We did. Yeah, we did. Um, excellent. And on your left, it being 6 p.m. over the yard arm. Um, in on a sunny afternoon in June, looking at the Art Institute, having just put down some the, the David Eddings book, um, there's a drink. It can be anything you like. What is oh, it? Oh, it's going to be wine for sure. Um, I'm Ed studying to be a sommelier on the side. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. So, in the case of the summer, it would probably be a glass of rose or a, a sort of a dry white wine of some kind, but probably a, a Spanish rose. Nice. That's lovely. I didn't know that. You see, this always produces anecdotes and surprises, the sommelier studies. Yeah. I think that's great. I'm almost to the last level now. I'm working on it. Oh, that's fantastic. Congratulations. That's brilliant. Um, OK, now you're feeling quite pleased with yourself because you've just heard back from a rather well-funded research institute and they've agreed to send you for a year to the country of your choice to study the arts and culture in that country. Okay. First class all the way, an apartment when you get there, all expenses paid, and a group of new friends to greet you when you arrive. Where are you going? It has to be a combination of, of great arts and great wine, just, just so you know. Oh, it's a toss up. Um, but you know what? It's going to be New Zealand. Okay, nice. And what city would you like to be based in, in New Zealand? You know, I don't know of the specific city, but I think I would prefer to be on the South Island. Than okay. The yeah, a bit cooler. Um, 
is Wellington South? Uh, I believe so. Okay, let's uh, to the, with apologies to anyone. Sorry, New Zealand, New Zealand people. I <laughs> yeah. should know that. I know where all the wine regions are. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's hope that Wellington is there. Um, otherwise, we can choose um, a different one. But Hobart. No, that... it was a very it was a very close call between New Zealand, Australia, and South Africa. So it was going to be one of those three. Okay, New Zealand. Okay, so you've um, you you're pleased with yourself because you're going to Wellington to study the arts and culture landscape in New Zealand and you're going to come back and do a, a brief report for the benefit of the researchers okay so um you're on the plane and you open a letter that you've been given and you were asked not to open it until you were airborne on your way to Wellington okay, okay. and in it is a condition of your continued year and that condition is that you're only allowed to listen to one genre of music for the entire year because they want to study the impact on you of doing that. <laughs> what is it going to be? Oh, my. Um, I, one genre of music. Um, I mean, if if we're if it has to be a New Zealand focused, no, thing, it doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, okay. Um, for me, it would have to be. Oh, I guess I have to go back to my theater roots. It's going to have to be musical theater. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> There's a lot to choose from in that. Yeah, isn't there? Bernstein, Sondheim. Yeah, I, I used to teach theater history, so <laughs> I've, got, I've got that in my head. Excellent. I was conducted by Bernstein in the 1980s. That oh my was, gosh. Yeah, one of the yeah. I met him, one of the high spots of my college years. We did yeah. his mass um, and he came in and conducted a rehearsal. It was great. Um, excellent. So you're, 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 you're touching down in Wellington, listening to musical theater all the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, it could be worse, couldn't it? Um, yeah, hello. Uh, and you're met at the airport by the delegation. It's a group of new friends, lovely people, New Zealanders, heavily immersed in the arts and culture sector. Um, they take you and um, to show you around your apartment that you're going to be having living in, all expenses paid. They just want to ease you in with a, a few days of cultural experience and immersion. So um, they suggest that once you've unpacked that they go out and take you to a dance performance, okay? Now, it doesn't have to be New Zealand related, but it can be if you wish. But it's a rather magical opportunity because they've conjured up this magical theatre in which they can put on stage any dancer, living or not, any dance group or any genre of dance. And they've asked you what they'd, you'd like to see on that stage. Hmm. I am, this is actually connecting to New Zealand, just to be quite honest, is I'm very uh, intrigued by indigenous dance performances well, and musical performances as well. But if I'm going to be in New Zealand and I'm going to be seeing dance, I really want to see something that is indigenous to New Zealand. Okay. Um, so something akin to the haka that they perform at the beginning of every rugby match. Yes. 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 That would be great. Yeah. But there's some extraordinary modern dance companies coming out of New Zealand anyway. So there's some really, really interesting work out there. Okay. That's great. That sounds great. Um, after the show, um, they're going to take you to dinner and you can choose the cuisine. And the wine, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. I'm glad I can choose the wine. You know, I, I am ecumenical about cuisine there's a couple of things i don't like but i pretty much like anything and whenever whatever country that i'm visiting i want to sample whatever their specialty is okay so, you know and new zealand is very famous for lamb for instance um yeah. you know so that would probably be on the menu but okay. um, but local produce things that are that are fresh there yeah so. love that um it's crazy isn't it when you see small pots of vegetables being um harvested in south america packed in thailand and eaten in the uk i mean it's, i know it, it, you know i've seen that we see it here 
I mean, yeah. I live in the upper Midwest where there's nothing growing in the winter. So that's what we see here. Yeah, yeah. But I don't just don't understand why it has to go from South America to Thailand and back to North America. I know. Just, it doesn't make any sense. Long live seasonal eating. Um, yeah. Okay, that's great. So you're having a beautiful succulent leg of lamb with uh, local produce uh, in at the restaurant after the dance show the next day is saturday and that's sport day in new zealand and they you can choose any sport you like to either participate in or be, be a spectator at what sport would you like them to take you to well not going to participate <laughs> not my thing um <laughs> I, I must admit that I am not a huge sports person, but I would probably go towards, well, we call it soccer here, but football. Football, okay. But not American football, real football. Yeah. Real football, yeah. Did I say that? <laughs> I'm sure I've got some Americans watching this and they're not going to be happy I said that. I know. The funny thing is, is that I, Zoom now summarizes our meetings, so it will be in there. <laughs> um, along with our insult to all the New Zealanders in out there as well. Um, do you have a favorite football team? Yeah, no, I I kind of just sort of occasionally just pull it up and see who's playing. Although I have a lot of friends who seem to be following Manchester, so you know yeah. perhaps that that would be. <laughs> who I would have to choose so that my friends would stay happy. Yeah, no, that's a good shout. Excellent. Okay, now the next day um, in Wellington, they've got this wonderful digital art gallery, which uses projection and some original works. And it can bring into the, the space around the, the gallery, all of the art produced by any visual artist or sculptures as holograms, okay. Um, so you can and they place them in chronological order so you can walk through the life and the development of this visual artist mm -hmm. who would you want to see i think it's going to have to be an impressionist i that's my favorite style of art and the artist who here in chicago has an amazing impressionist exhibition um monet monet lovely I, I use Calm, the app that helps you get to sleep. Not that I need much help these days. <laughs> but um, And one of the sleep stories is a walk through Monet's garden. Oh, wonderful. That's yeah. Lovely. Um, okay, that's good. Um, now, to lighten the mood the next day, they've said that you, you're going back to the magical theatre that can put anything on stage. Um, and you can choose any play or musical you like. Any play? Oh, my Lord. Mm. could it be the original cast yes it can <laughs> somebody somebody earlier today chose 1947 oklahoma production i would i would pay money to go back in time to see the original broadway cast of sondheim's follies right nice i'd like to go back for rent and west side story <laughs> original casts that would be incredible um, excellent. Okay. And tomorrow is movie day with your new friends. Big cinema, best seat in the house, any film you like. Film I like. Hmm. It would have to be something that I would want to see on the big screen. Rob, because there's so many movies that I watch over and over, but haven't watched on the big screen before. You know what? I, I haven't seen any of those i'm such a nerd um the 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 indiana jones movies like on the big screen since time began since they were mm. up the first time so probably i'd have to go back to the beginning of that franchise and say raiders of the lost ark on the big screen that's great um love that um and the next next so sunday lunchtime okay you're in uh, Wellington and they've asked you if you could have Sunday lunch, a bit more lamb probably, Sunday lunch um, with your arts and culture hero, living or not, who would you choose to have lunch with? Arts and culture hero. With us or not, anyone. 
So it's per someone who I would love to have met and spent time with. Yeah. Um, any time period? No, anyone. Okay, so this is my nerdy background again, is I specialized in Shakespeare in college and directed a Shakespeare festival for many years. And I've always, A, would love to meet Shakespeare, but I've always wanted to ask the question that nobody will ever answer is, did you write all of these plays? Mm. that's the biggest controversy in the Shakespeare world is who wrote these plays yeah. um, so and I, I would just I would love to, to get into the brain of the person that came up with all of that literature yeah that's great so you've met William Shakespeare for lunch quite a week isn't it <laughs> yeah really <laughs> it's moving um, through time yeah so the next day they want to give you a bit of a breather you know those wonderful days tommy where you wake up and you realize you could the day is your own until you go back to sleep again yes doesn't have i don't remember there. those but yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of kind of remember them yeah. yeah um so i remember when i used to play in the pit as a percussionist in the west end um you'd wake up and you'd think oh no it's not one of those days um I, I loved it as I did you just don't feel as though you're in control of your day and so when a day comes along where you're not when you when you don't have to do anything for anyone else um they're rather special yeah. so you're in Wellington and it's one of those days you've got a, an unlimited budget you've got all the transport and help you need you've got guides if you want them um but you can do whatever you like in New Zealand for a day <laughs> what are you going to do well I would go to a vineyard <laughs> <laughs> let's let's be real i'm gonna go to a winery um in lieu of that it would be something outdoors you know the on my when the weather permits that's what i really would like to be doing is being out in nature somewhere that's brilliant excellent there you go welcome to your perfect cultural year uh, from from answers to your questions somebody earlier said please set up a company and make this possible mark <laughs> yeah, really i wish yeah <laughs> So, Tommy, thank you so much for doing that. And thank you for being one of our full members. Wherever this appears, there'll be um, links to, to find more about you and the work that you do. Um, don't dart off. But in the meantime, thank you so much for helping me do that. I hope it was fun. It was fun. I had no idea what was coming. But it was that was that was a lot, a lot of interesting things there. Great. Thank you so much.